Hey everybody, Robert Wright here, private label law attorney, and guess what? Somebody stole my product photos. Actually, they didn't steal my product photos, they stole one of my client's product photos. It was the craziest situation. So my client literally, you know, had taken a picture, it was a printer, it was a personal printer, and it was printing, you know, off a particular type of product, and it was a, it was photo taken in their son's room, right? And so it's on his listing, you know, showing, you know, hey, this is easy to print and you can do this, you know, demonstrating the product basically. Well, guess what? Someone just took that photo, copied, swiped it, pulled it off the internet and plopped it into their own listing. Now they didn't just do a blatant copy, right? They didn't just take the full on image and put it into their listing. They were a little more creative, right? They took the image and then plopped it into a series of other images, okay? Now, as we were, we took care of the problem, interestingly enough, as I've said in other videos, copyright is a huge club, and literally within, you know, a couple hours, we had the, uh, the product photos taken down. But, you know, as I was talking with the client about this, it, it, it occurred to me, my guess is this other seller wasn't necessarily being nefarious. I mean, maybe they were. Maybe they're being just lazy and saying, you know what, I just like that photo, I'm going to just copy it and swipe it and be done. Nobody will care. It's just a, just a picture of a printer. But here's the thing, like, that's not okay, right? You know, the internet and just the ease at which you can get images, whether it's on Amazon or eBay, just Google images, whatever, it is so tempting to just find an image that you like and then just copy it. You're not harming anybody. There's this sense that you're not harming anybody, but here's the thing, you can't do that. That's not how copyright works. Somebody owns that image, and that person who owns that image has certain rights, one of those being the ability to copy it, distribute it in other means, okay? So even though it's tempting, whether it's using your supplier photos, you know, on their site on Alibaba for your own product photos and maybe Photoshopping in your brand name or just finding another, you know, similar type product on Amazon, copying and swiping that particular picture and then modifying it, don't do it, right? You're gonna get in big trouble. Worst case scenario, you've committed copyright infringement the, the person you've infringed has registered their copyright, they're gonna sue you and you're gonna to have to pay attorney's fees and statutory damages. I mean, just for copying and swiping, that's worst case scenario. Best case scenario, they're gonna to complain to Amazon and you're gonna have your listings taken down. And guess what? You start you know, getting dings on your Amazon account, your Amazon account is gonna go away. So do not jeopardize your Amazon account. Do not jeopardize your business by just taking a shortcut and copying and pasting some photos. If you're using photos, make sure they're your own. If you do that, you're always gonna be in good stead. You're not gonna run afoul of any, any copyright laws and your business is gonna be in a position to grow and scale.